To a story that Target 12 investigators have been tracking, members of the Narragansett Indian tribe gather for a Martin Luther King Jr. Day protest, claim their leaders have been violating their civil rights. We've got to work together, but with force and aggression. And you don't have to be violent to be aggressive. About two dozen tribe members circle around a ceremonial fire today. Several say they have been banished by tribal leadership for a protest last month. And they tell Target 12 they want answers about a $350,000 federal grant. Target 12 investigator Walt Buto is live in the newsroom now with the details on this ongoing dispute. That grant was given to the tribe about six years ago, but questions about how it was spent surfaced just last year. Great spirit, thank you for all blessings. They circle the fire and ask for spiritual guidance. We are one together in this circle. Bella Noka says she's among the tribe members banished by Narragansett leadership. And she told the circle some tribe members are intimidated. There are many people out there who are afraid to even come forth because of things that have took place in the past. The protesters tell Target 12 they're frustrated with a number of issues, including the decision against upholding the results of the 2014 Tribal Council election. And they're asking questions about a 2010 Department of Justice grant for $350,000 that documents show was given to the tribe to develop and enhance the operation of the tribal justice systems. The money is gone, $350,000. Tribal leaders have told Target 12 the money was spent appropriately and there is a Narragansett tribunal court system. The protesters say there isn't. Is there a tribunal now? No. They insist there is. There is no tribunal. Everybody here will tell you there is no tribunal. Target 12 went to the tribe's headquarters, but no one was there. Monroe tells us she's reached out to federal investigators. Target 12 filed a Freedom of Information Act request last month, seeking documents connected to the grant. But we're waiting for results from that request. No. We also called and emailed tribal leadership, but so far no one has responded. With the Target 12 investigators in the newsroom, Walt Buteau, Eyewitness News.